Freehold? Lease. Oh, well, it suits you. That's the Claude Ravoussin. Where did we find that? Saint Tropez, was it? Yes. I'm glad you hung on to it. Not for sentimental reasons, I assure you. <laughs> you always did have a good eye for an investment. What was it you wanted to see me about? Two reasons. One, I thought it was high time we patched things up. A smile, a sob story, and all's forgotten. I don't go in for sob stories. And I don't forget. Oh, come on, Avril. All that's in the past now. You've obviously landed on your feet. You're looking wonderful. And I gather you've been keeping yourself busy managing your father's boatyard. How do you know that? Oh, just Yacht Club grapevine. Seems you're pretty well in down there. Which leads me to my second reason for calling. As I said, I'm looking into a possible shoreline development scheme. Now, if it goes ahead, I shall need someone to keep an eye on things. You could be just the right person. You think so? Of course. You know all the people concerned? Certainly got the business know-how. And let's face it, I'd far rather do business with you than with some local stuffed shirt. My God. You think you can just blow in here after all that's happened and I'll come running? Now, listen. Well, I... you can take your job. Avril, I was trying to do you a favor. Well, I don't want any more favors from you now, ever. You really were hurt, weren't you? Should have known better. After all, I'd seen the way you treated other people. You took the whole thing so seriously. When someone you've been with for over a year tells you they've just got married to someone else, what are you supposed to do? Chalk it up to experience. You didn't have to throw away your whole career. Talented girl like you? Woman, not girl. I've grown up now. In that case, you'll accept my apology and bury the hatchet. I'm going to be in the area for some time. Looking for a house down here. My yacht is moored nearby. I was hoping perhaps we might be able to... Pick up where we left off. At least see something of each other. Forget it. I'm not interested. I dare say, given the chance, I could reawaken that interest. No, Charles. I see. You got someone else lined up? God, that's typical, isn't it? There has to be another man. Of course it wouldn't occur to you that a woman might prefer Some her own company. Perhaps. I know you, Avril. You're not cut out for celibacy any more than I am. Get out. I said get out. All right. Here's my phone number. In case you change your mind. on either score. That was quite a time we had together. Recruiting for the fast net. Holy wars. Is that your charming old world way of saying good evening? What are you doing here? We have a date. Remember? 
We were going out to dinner. We were going to drown your sorrows in a glass of my non-alcoholic cinnamon punch. Slabbing hell. Oh, it's not that bad. But since you've already drowned your sorrows in something more potent, I shall take my 50 pounds and go. Your what? A month without alcohol is what we agreed. Ah, yes, but Two I... Two days does not constitute a month, Mr. Roth. I haven't got 50 pounds. What am I likely to have? Bloody crud. I beg your pardon? That German repair contract. They've given it to another yard. Without that, I'm ruined. And so is your son-in-law. Report. We won't know the results until tomorrow. What's happened? Oh, nothing. I can see that. What is it, love? I'm sorry. Avril, what is it? You can tell me. It's just that someone turned up. The man I was telling you about. I managed to get rid of him. Has he hurt you? No. <laughs> it's just seeing him for so long a time. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> 